So, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, and welcome to our yeah fourth session. Yeah, fourth session. We had over one thousand six hundred guests already. Yeah, uh, I had the German-speaking countries with Austria, Switzerland, and Germany. And uh, yeah, right now here people joining. So let's wait a few seconds and warm up a bit. So. Yeah, my name is Mark. I'm one of the regional directors of Safia Global. And today, a completely different uh, session, a completely different presentation about the project. A um, project which will be a big topic in the end of this week. Yeah, on the Saturday, 28 January 2023, we will have a start of a pre-launch of a, of a pre-sale in our minting category yeah so i think most of you are familiar uh with Zafir and uh, the the Zenique minting technology and uh, blockchain smart chain ecosystem that is not the topic today today we will focus on this project uh, one of its kind technology yeah um really unbelievable uh revolutionary disruptive yeah for different industries and uh that's what we We'll discuss today and the possibilities, uh, um, what we can do with this, and uh, in details, the next few days, uh, a lot of updates. And then on Saturday, everybody can join this opportunity, can participate from these uh, yeah, processes. We will explain. So, launch time, that's uh, amazing. And uh, we're talking about Tupan Cargo Aircraft and yeah, new company in the space of aircrafts and uh, with a massive, massive experienced uh, engineering team behind, really people from aeronautic institutes, uh, technology institutes, departments of airspace, science, technology, over decades. Yes, yeah, so a very experienced uh, developing team. And the company is already today on a, on a level, uh, uh, on evaluation, very exciting, and uh, yeah, starting to to move into a space, into a direction, into a new category. Uh, in case of aircraft, in case of cargo, of transport, and many many areas, that's what we will have a look at here. The next era of uh, cargo, of transportation, of goods between cities, between countries, and yeah, you can see here the flying drone the two-pound drone, and you can see also uh, H-S-V-S-T-O-L. What is the meaning of these letters? High-speed, vertical, short takeoff and landing. Yeah, so this drone technology is uh, one of its kind, has, has uh, patented features, yeah, a lot of patents, uh, and uh, is the only one in this categories we are talking about we will see four different categories four different sizes even yeah uh, which can yeah vertical takeoff which has a very special um technology turbine technology yeah and uh, this will revolutionize the cargo and transport all around the world okay so the proposal of this project aims to uh, change this paradigm shift yeah like apple was changing the smartphone space in 2008 there are nokia there are ericsson there are big brands already yeah and from one year to another there was a paradigm shift there was a change in this industry there was a disruption yeah and uh, the same with tesla in the automobile space yeah so there are a lot of big brands since 100 years ford and daimler benz and others yeah and Within yeah, a short period of time, yeah, a new uh, brand was coming up and was disrupting the automobile space. And today, the biggest car brand in the world, yeah. So on that, yeah, can happen here with these uh, technologies. And I will show you the use cases. I will show you. I will give you ideas yeah, to understand what it means if you can participate, yeah, on an early stage already from a brand like this. But we will talk about a DAO. We will talk about a company, yeah, Tupan Aircraft, which will be partially tokenized in a DAO, in a decentralized autonomous organization, and that means the token related to the DAO, yeah, minted by the hardware released by Scenic Technologies will be like a share of this DAO 
yeah, and the DAO, yeah, one part of the company is the DAO, decentralized, tokenized, and the other part is a traditional part with traditional shareholders, amazing shareholders, yeah, and um, with a fantastic valuation and uh, with the increasing valuation, also the share of the DAO will increase in value, yeah, so that's amazing, that's one of its kind mechanic, yeah, uh, this is really important to understand what are the customer who is the customer yeah for this kind of technology yeah this is not a supermarket product or a cream or a car or whatever this is a um yeah highly uh, rated uh, technology product and uh, a lot of demand is coming up and i'll just show you uh how and what is the background and uh, give some ideas that you can imagine what is here coming so let's talk about um the following limitations yeah in existing uh, parts of transportation uh, transportation this is the airline industry you know they have a wide range yeah so they have a good capacity to transport goods from from a to b yeah but they need uh, runaways to take off yeah so imagine you can't go from one building to another from one hospital to another from one city to another yeah you can't land anywhere you you need to take off you need uh, a runaway you need the airport yeah so that's that's the uh other side of this helicopter yeah a more flexible yeah uh in moving but higher full consumption yeah so very very uh big consumption and um also other transport possibilities like a truck like a train yeah so they have uh they have good points but on the other side they are too slowly they are too limited yeah so this flexibility and conventional drones they are very lazy very very low in speed yeah and uh short range yeah so we will see also a comparison with competitors on the market and there you will understand what it means and you can see also these turbines yeah this this uh uh turbines you can move yeah they are flexible yeah so the drone can go up vertical yeah and uh if it comes to the comparison you will see uh the competitors they need to run away okay so performance advantages long range yeah also interesting to see uh what, what the others are doing yeah in case of long range and the load capacity yeah lower full consumption very very good topic and uh also high autonomy and speed yeah and like i said h s v s t o l high speed vertical short takeoff and landing so let's go to the next slide and let's have a look on the models yeah so we have 2.300 on the right side 2.1000 2000 and 3000 so different models different wingspan yeah and um, um you will see soon also uh, some pictures from the model i think this is the uh, second from the right 6.4 meters in wingspan you can see this in the vip area of the al maktoum airport in dubai yeah you can see this and uh, if you see a picture uh with with a human being on the side you will see wow this is already huge it's huge six meter you think oh this is not a big thing yeah, but it's huge yeah it's already fantastic so 8.6 meters uh, uh, much bigger and 10.6 meters wingspan is a huge yeah it's a huge yeah power our device and uh, you can see the payload 400 kilo yeah so uh back um going into the plane on the airport is a 23 kilo that's so the big bag size yeah and weight so imagine yeah even 120 kilo is, is huge yeah these are five big bags from the weight yeah where you go to holiday where you're flying uh, yeah uh, by plane with a big with a big bag okay so um the 33000 feet yeah around about 10000 uh, meter height yeah so like a, a boeing is flying yeah so also this speed amazing up to 850 km per hour yeah uh, so massive if you compare this to other drones it's it's a, it's a funny it's a lava yeah uh, and then 1200 km the big drone uh, yeah from from not only the big also 2.1000 uh 1200 kilometer yeah range yeah so this is also amazing and uh yeah let's go a bit in the technical part 
So, come on. Yeah, competitors. So you can see here some uh, of the most important brands. Yeah, it comes to drones on that level, on this, on this size. And uh, we have here only 2.1 thousand. Yeah, you saw 2.2 thousand, 3 thousand. And uh, yeah, 120 kilogram compared to the others, 50. Yeah, Chemcorp, Alti, 7 kilogram, 85, 100 kilogram, Falco. Yeah, uh, Bayrakta, a famous brand, 50 kilogram. Yeah, so clear. Yeah, so then um, the uh, first landing and takeoff, you can see runaway, runaway, runaway. So they're not flexible. They cannot land everywhere. They cannot start everywhere. Yeah, so this is a big topic. And then also um, the uh, the range. Yeah, I mentioned 1,200 Kilometer, yeah. Uh, this drone can fly, the Tuban drone, yeah, 180, 150, by right, 150 kilometer, yeah. So massive, massive, less range, yeah. And then uh, very eff efficient in, in, the, in the consumption, yeah, uh, is uh, the Tuban drone, yeah. So another big advantage, uh, let's say also against a helicopter, yeah, the drone is. Uh, uh, really efficient yeah in the in the fuel and uh, yeah so flexible no runaway needed massive speed massive capacity up to 400 kilogram so what do you need more for being the yeah best offer to transport goods yeah around the world from city to city from hospital to hospital yeah and many other areas we will have a look at yeah this is the tupa navigation system in-house made yeah the the navigation yeah to to drive uh even uh autonomously yeah you can uh, move the drone yeah and uh, she will arrive or remotely have yeah, remote control piloted yeah so there are different uh, possibilities to work with these drones and uh, yeah, let's go through the technical key points, ground station and things like that. So software development, yeah, all in-house, like I said, uh, fantastic experts there really to create a world brand um, over the decades experienced and uh, we have control systems, you have uh, yeah, um, a lot of uh, features here and uh, yeah, technical side, uh, I'm sure. Um, you will not study uh, or be an engineer of that, but uh, yeah, that you can see um, they knowing what they're doing. Yeah, so hardware development, all in house, and uh, yeah, there are people they they work in any field. Yeah, if if uh, uh, traditional airplanes or or science, uh, anything around aviation, yeah, they have the experts and they are prepared for the for the big step. Yeah, for the big big step. Yeah, a lot of exhibitions yeah even in february exciting exhibitions yeah we will see uh, press releases we will see partnerships and all this stuff needed to to really take off yeah and uh, that's a perfect stage to yeah to start minting yeah um and uh, to start participating from this DAO. okay so navigation and telemetry, yeah, some insights, all aircraft flight and attitude data is shown in real time, yeah, with the navigation camera image, yeah, so you get a little bit idea how this looks like and the ground station has the ability to receive and send data to the aircraft during the flight and before the flight and it's also possible to change, yeah, this navigation route while the drone is flying, yeah? And also uh, interesting at the final destination, it is possible to land with the cargo or release the cargo without landing during uh, the flight, yeah? So in, in, in crisis area, if you like to deliver food or whatever, you can't land there, but it's too, yeah, you know, there's a revolution or whatever, yeah? So you can deliver also and uh, a lot of possibilities with this technology. So ground station, um, we had this before. So Tupan uh, propulsion, this is very important to understand with this technology, yeah, with this turbine technology, yeah, um, with this flexible uh, uh, propulsion system, yeah, the, the, the drone is, uh, yeah, it, it's one of its kind. Yeah, so it, it has all the possibilities what other drones didn't have. 
So technical features here again, 2.1,000, 2.2,000, 2.3,000. Yeah, lengths, yeah, diameter, uh, dry wide. So a lot of features, a lot of technical things, but you will have uh, more and more information in the upcoming days and weeks. So let's have a look at the most important points. Well, I'm open the door here for some people. So a new aircraft company, but with decades of experience yeah, and uh, professional background and uh, big demand and the big support upcoming by governments by institutions yeah being customers so this is a this is a different kind of level yeah who's interested in these technologies yeah companies governments what i said before and the first cargo delivery service in the world with low costs yeah and high speed and long range yeah so this is disrupting and like I said, a big demand, and you will see a lot of press release in the next few months. So a new way of cargo delivery in the world. Um, and this is possible. I mentioned this a few times uh, to the exclusive turbo machine for Paulson system and uh, disrupting solution we had. And now let's have a look into the use cases to get a little bit ideas yeah which institutions which governments which uh countries yeah will will be a perfect customer for this um if this is uh um, in the military sector transport of goods for sure relief operations in crisis areas i mentioned this already support to armed forces uh high performance uh aerial target to armed forces so is not a weapon system, yeah. So that's very important to understand. Yeah, it's not a weapon system. It's a it's a defense system, military observation, relief operations, yeah, everything like this. And I'm sure alone in the Arabic countries there is a high demand. There are good relationships, yeah. And uh, yeah, this will be uh, amazing and interesting to see. Yeah, how this project is developing, getting customers, fantastic shareholders, etc. Yeah. So then I think a lot of ideas you will have if it comes to pictures like that. Yeah, Lavine, snow, mountains, uh, rescue and search, yeah, fire detection and firefighting, huge problems all around the world every summer. Yeah, the firefighting in California, you saw the pictures in Berlin, in Greek, yeah, big forest fires everywhere. Yeah, you can help. You have the possibilities with these drones to fight against these problems. Um, uh, search, rescue on the ocean, in the mountain, everywhere. Um, cargo delivery, border protection, air shipment of supplies and, and, and food, uh, medical support, um, organ transplantation, a lot of things. Uh, agriculture, I think, big sector. Yeah, So imagine uh, what kind of old technologies are used to to uh, yeah, work in agriculture, yeah, and and uh, yeah, to to go on this field is is also a big big thing, yeah. So a lot of fields, a lot of industries um, are looking for revolution, and uh, there are also other things where the scientists are working on air taxis of the future. Yeah, I'm sure you saw also so these these pictures of of uh, different. Um, uh, yeah, in Dubai, I saw a policeman on a flying air taxi. Yeah, this is this is a reality. And in, in a few years from now, um, things like that will be will be normal. Yeah, so technology is going on, and uh, this company has a developer, as a scientist, and will not only produce these drones from today. It's on, it's a progress. Yeah, like a new iPhone is coming out every year. Yeah, this is going on nonstop. The development, the evolution in technology, and uh, they are prepared for that. Yeah, and uh, sure, we will see a fantastic uh, development and uh, increasing value creation of this uh, company of this project. Okay, yeah. With that said, um, cargo revolution, and uh, let me tell you a bit. Saturday, twenty eight, the the launch, the pre sale launch will be starting yeah and everybody who knows our, our minting model knows okay there is a specific minting factor 
yeah, uh, there are halvings, yeah, so we get all those details, but I can tell you there will be an amazing minting factor for the start, yeah, for this weekend, for this coming weekend, so stay tuned, yeah, and prepare yourself to get your hands on, but this is not a utility token, this is a, this is a um, DAO-related token, and DAO, again, yeah, one part of this company is tokenized as a DAO, as a decentralized autonomous organization. Yeah, and every single token we are minting with our hardware yeah, is a share of this DAO and with the valuation of the company. Yeah, and it has already a good evaluation. But yeah, with every single contract, with one deal, with one big partnership, yeah, evaluation of a tech company can go to the moon. Yeah, so <laughs> stay tuned for that. A lot of um, exhibitions are there and there are um, negotiatings and, and partnerships and, and everything possible. And there's a lot of things in the pipeline. Yeah, so it's huge and it's uh, technology and it's a different thing what we have to offer yeah, for our clients also to, to come into categories like this, to, to change the world. Yeah, on the technology side uh, with this company and uh, on our customer side, yeah, with long term projects, long term minting, long term participation, and uh, also Tupan Rainforest Project. Yeah, so the, the, the mechanics have not yet started, guys. There's so many coming and also, also uh, forced to, to start earlier. Yeah, so stay tuned for all these fantastic projects we have. First, uh, tokenized uh, movie. Uh, real estate there yeah and the mechanics are different from project to project here and there like now yeah DAO decentralized autonomous organization but uh, stay tuned for all the details and uh, exciting early bird special conditions we will see this coming Saturday guys yeah I can assure you this will be mind-blowing okay so disruptive amazing and with that said we will have a lot of calls like this yeah to inform uh, your uh, your friends, your your prospects, yeah, interested also in uh, amazing technology, and uh, yeah, looking forward to see you, yeah, by one of these meetings potentially here the next time. Yeah, uh, check out uh, calendars and, and channels, and we will share all these uh, possibilities to inform. Yeah, so thank you for being here. Have a nice evening, and hope to see you soon. Okay, bye bye for now.